Naomi, we've already lost one operative, so try not to get killed, or we'll be in the red for the day. I'll be that. Huh? What the hell? Is this a meme? This better be a joke, or I'm stuck. <laughs> and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. The Kellys are moving loads of weapons out of here. They're not your typical back alley shanks. Stables. It's human trafficking. Found Jimmy. Cheeky shit. Fuck you. And here we thought he might be in some sort of trouble. So, um, how are you going to get him out of there? Lots of hugs and kisses. Sharper than you look. Jesus Christ! Someone else beat these dead sick pricks! Back up! I need back up! Does the rolling help? <sighs> We showed those fucks, didn't we? We almost died out there tonight. Look, thanks for helping me, but I can handle myself. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think, and that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Wait. What happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Yo, I'm back. Let's finish watching this though. Fuck it. Welcome to DeadSec, James. Yeah. Okay, so where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? You don't need to go anywhere. Look around you. Everyone has a reason to fight, and DedSec is open to anyone. Anyone? Welcome to the Resistance. Watchdog Legion is the latest in the open world hacker franchise. Guess I'm gonna make y'all wait so long, I should really knock it out of the park, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm Clint Hawking, I'm the creative director of Watch Dogs Legion. And for the past few years, the team and I have had the privilege to work on a game and an innovation that we are very proud of. Watch Dogs Legion is set in London, one of the greatest cities in the world. 
and it's had a massive influence on all of our culture for centuries. Today, with Brexit, London's at a turning point. It's hard to predict what the future holds for London, for the UK, or for the world. But history has proven time and again that where London goes, all of us go together. In our near future, London is facing her downfall. The UK has become a surveillance state, and freedom has been replaced with fear. Armed drones patrol the streets, deportation squads rip people from their homes, and granddad is using crypto to buy a new kidney on the black market. But Londoners never surrender. Their resilience and determination oh, be with is an in inspiration minute. to us all, Just and they this up. are the heroes of our game. All of them. In Watch Dogs Legion, your mission is to build a popular resistance to fight back against the emergence of an authoritarian regime. This means you don't just play as one hero, but many. And in Watch Dogs Legion, you can recruit and play as anyone. <laughs> this is lit, said Kermite 222, a Johnny. In our game, Every Londoner is fully simulated with a persistent life and relationships and anyone from the entire population can be recruited into your team. Find them, profile them, hack into their lives, play their origin mission, and win them over to your cause. The heroes you recruit are all unique characters with different backstories and personalities, fully voiced and animated, and they are the stars of your story. Every cinematic in the game will change depending on whether you're playing a former MI5 action hero, a 70-year-old granny you saw feeding pigeons in the park, or anyone in between. However you want to play, whoever you want to be, Watch Dogs Legion lets you be that. You want to make a team of classic British spies? No problem. You want to be a crew of street-savvy kids from the council block? Do it. You want to go hipster, body mod, Afro-punk, gangsta? Awesome. <laughs> the women of Bletchley Park? These ladies fucking invented hacking! <laughs> Play as anyone is the innovation that transforms a story about freeing London Imagine how the much work the they need to put in WD3 to make this really work. The heroes said in each of us. Farron Thane. Because being a hero is isn't just a job for someone else for anymore. Sure. We will talk about that it's a job for everyone. Hi at Farron so Thane, said, Rick 92647. see you on the booth. Thank you for your time, and welcome to the resistance. Here for a second, so I can say hi to y'all. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. That was uh, quite an amazing event, uh, I must say. Uh, Definitely a very is not real happy about the one hundred and ninety dollars price for the VIP status. Oh, geez, said I haven't even looked Rick at that ninety two thousand six hundred and forty seven. I have not even looked at that yet. Interesting how this gonna work out, and if they really can make it happen. Yeah, said it, it's very Farron ambitious Thane. of them for sure to do something like this. But that's what I think I'm most excited about is uh, just how, what crazy of an idea it is, you know. Like, they really thought outside of the box for me and uh, came up with some crazy new ideas that uh, I never thought of, you know, in my own head of what Watch Dogs could be. So I'm really excited to, to really try it out and uh, see what's new. So, all right, let me, uh, let's finish up this last part and then I'll go through bit by bit through the video just like look, trying to pick out cool things and we can talk about it and what you guys think so cool to recruit Nox and be able to play with them said Farron Thane NPCs asterisk said Farron Thane ah London had a good run there for a while now it's all riots bombings Hey, epic smiley face. And people Hi, Farron. Like said, a tray you ate for HGL. Oh, and who could forget the killer robots everywhere? So, yeah, that's all gone a bit shit. 
It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Quoting 27 good him. old British pounds to make the skull mask. Former That's before MI5. I work out what I can get from the SZ market. Said. Dave Grimes, 713. And erase anyone. See her? Let's kick those bastards out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. And that fellow over there? Proper bellend. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking at him funny. This had better be fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the sorry, deadliest the of the law. She's not old, she's experienced. Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them, build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. Look at that, March 6, 2020. Well, it was a little later than I'd mm -hmm. hoped. I was really hoping for a uh, holiday this year release, but definitely something exciting to look forward to next year. Uh, need to save up for my pennies for them collector's editions, it sounds like, so that'll give me a little bit more time, right? Uh, but yeah. Well, <laughs> it for the watchdogs yeah that was it for the watchdogs but man that was crazy cool uh hope you all enjoyed it i hope you all are excited uh i should ch i should check back in with uh, discord real quick see what's going on there I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop back on the Discord there. Uh, for those who um, aren't a part of our Cool Watchdogs Discord server right here, uh, check out discord.gg uh, slash watchdogs, all one word. And uh, you can join in with us. Uh, right now I'm hanging out in our E3 chat uh section there's a whole section of e3 chats uh well, there's one for every company but right down at the bottom here i am in our uh watchdogs three uh voice chat so if you want to voice chat with me you can there or feel free to just text in twitch there oh let me unmute the voice chat because i can't hear all right i should be able to hear whoever's in voice chat now you're uh, beautiful okay let me make you louder yeah that's the only problem with my microphone it's a bit, it's a bit trash okay let me make you even louder god can, can you even make me louder yeah i did i can hear oh, you now. what's geez. up man Sorry i'm good man oh, i'm gassed about that i've already started working on the designs for it yeah i saw that in the chat so what are you going to try to build exactly uh, so the uh, school, like the neon blue kind of green kind of school, that looks the pretty pog. Is probably my favorite. Definitely yeah, man. The skull. 
I've started looking and quoting it up. It's going to be about 27 quid to build. So about 35 US dollars. But that, that's easy. And that's not even looking for the lowest price yet. It looks tricky, man. I, no, nah, that's going to be easy. Yeah. Same as the wrench mask, dude. Like, all it is is a bit of hot glue, a bit of LEDs, a bit of spray paint. Easy stuff. Let me take that mask off. Easier to talk. <laughs> ah, dude, you look too warm in that, honestly. like I am, yeah. I'm wearing, like, a Aiden coat now. I switched to my Aiden gear with the watchdogs. <laughs> ah, dude, I have, like, an Aiden jacket, and it's just beautiful. It's so warm in the winter. But, uh, yeah, so what, is that what you're most excited about is the the masks and stuff? Or? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping um, big, lovely Irish Allen can hook us up with kind of like a cosplay guide. Like that was really helpful. Um, when Watch Dogs 2 come out, kind of the wrench, kind of like all the high quality imagery kind of from different angles. Yeah, I'm sure we'll we'll see something like that from them. Um, they tend to do it every game. Oh, what, what do I have still open here? Oh, yeah, Rainbow, Rainbow Six, Six show game. Close that out. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Uh, I, I enjoyed the uh, Rainbow Six Siege uh, update. Kind of Kingsman vibe they went with it. That was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was kind of Kingsman. Yeah, I appreciated that. That was pretty good. But yeah, I wanted to say uh, full disclosure. I I did get to go to uh, Toronto Studios. Uh, God, it's been over a month ago, almost Epic. two months ago. Your voice volume is really low. Oh my like voice 20 volume. Like twenty percent of the people on your Discord, I can hear them fine. Said. A tray weight here, uh, HDL. Mixer balance is very tricky. I'll try to I'll try to boost me up here. Definitely, definitely. I've tried to do esports with Discord and it's not fun though. There you go. I think that's about the best I can get. Uh, let me know if my mic peaks out at all because I got it at full black. Oh, you know what? I can turn the gain up on the back. Let's boost it up. Oh yeah, I'm oh. starting to peak there. But you guys should be able to hear me better. Thank you for letting me know. All right. Oh, yeah, what we were talking about. So I did get to go to Toronto, and uh, we did get to talk to the devs a little bit ahead of time. I'm very excited to finally be able to say something about that. We couldn't until all of this happened. How, how much That's of that can you actually stay, way. or is there still stuff you can't say? A tray wait for HGL. All right, hold on. Let me turn my chat volume now because I couldn't hear you over them. What did you say, man? Um, how much can you say? Is there like still stuff that you can't say? That well, there's definitely believe? still stuff I can't say, but there <laughs> honestly isn't much more I don't, I really know. Like, yeah, we had, we had obviously got to see things a bit earlier, so not, not everything was, uh, as far as it is now. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely exciting something to go and do. Like it's pretty amazing opportunity to go out there and try that. Said. Will I be pre-ordering it? Oh yeah, definitely. That, that's no question, man. Uh, that that's very financially. Like my, my pockets are feeling heavy when looking at that price. Oh yeah. Be, being a student, man. Like you know, back back when Watch Dogs Two came out, Mummy and Daddy could sort me out for that, and I could like slowly pay them back. But for this, nah. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. We do get a bit more time. They just asked when the game comes out. It does not come out till uh, March 2020. Yeah, about this time next year, it should yes. be out. Yeah. Well, now it's June now, so a little earlier than that. But, yeah, God, now you're making me, think, make me sound like it's almost a year away. That that doesn't make me a <laughs> We're going to get the uh, <laughs> bot in the Discord counting down every single day. Why don't they have hacking? CTOS 3.0, like, Watch Dogs 3, like, 300 days away and counting. Yeah. It's it's a, it is a fair many days away. Why don't they have hacking? They have lots of hacking. Uh, what kind of hacking were you talking about in particular? And uh, you don't have to spend two hundred dollars to get the game. That's just if you want the collector's edition and all that stuff. The cool skull and the stickers so, and the posters. You know. <laughs> you you don't got to spend all that. I mean, it looks like they do kind of have oh, the watch dogs one kind. Can the like online hacking? Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, I don't know what their plans Careful. are per mm. se for uh, online modes, but I would say, like, like we just stated, there's almost a year to go. I'm sure there's more details to come. Just because they didn't show some online mode now doesn't mean we won't see more later. 
Um, I, I definitely would say we will see more of that. Do I know anything specific okay. yet? Time. No. Said. But uh, I, I, I do know multiplayer is very important to Watch Dogs franchise as a whole and, I'm of course, really Ubisoft. So. Not having any online replay value. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to add Two some online replay value. That's about all I know or could say, really. Um, so I definitely understand your concern, but I wouldn't worry about it too much yet. I'd wait till we find out some more details about that. And there's definitely still some time for them to, to put in or to tell us about things like that. So this is just our first look. And uh, I, there's so much there to unpack. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to have to do a whole other stream on this, to be honest. Definitely, um, dude. Uh, I don't <laughs> know if you've seen in the Discord, uh, people are going on about... Um, the exclusive mission and mask pack uh, that includes the wrench mask and a new mission called uh, Not In Our Name. Uh, oh, really? So that, yeah. If you jump in the Watch Dogs Free spoiler room. Um, I think uh, it all depends on your like. Like, when people ask about a game being better than previous ones, it all depends on what you like. It's a very subjective question. Definitely, For, definitely. For me, uh, I definitely think this game has a lot more to offer. Um, it's a very What's ambitious up? game. With What's like, up? Hi. Yeah, so What's many, up, so many different add-ons. So. Hey, have I been here before? I don't think so. Hey, what's up? I gotta let me turn you up too, because I have trouble hearing. Let's just boost you up to two hundred percent. Two hundred percent. I am so yeah. I am so confused right now. This uh, game is dude, so I'm weird. Dry. What are you confused about? Let's see if we can figure it out together. Um, I'm not confused. It's like, wait, so basically this game isn't going to have any campaign. It's just going to be running around, recruiting people, and just taking down teams. It's going to be like a battle royale or similar to that. It does not seem like that to me. In fact, they didn't really talk about uh, online multiplayer much at all. No, um, not battle royale as in like in the game. Just going to recruit game, players, like, take NPC? down gangs. Now, I would assume... And I can't really say much more um, about story and things like that, but there's definitely there's definitely a story. Um, it is kind of weird playing it as you know different recruits and things like that. I'm not sure if there's going to be like a main character if I'll have an arc that the story. Yeah, or... we'll have to see more about that. To me, right now, from what it looks like, from what we've seen, is a big. And I wrote about this a bit on Reddit, uh, our live Reddit thread already. Um, there's that uh, Bagley AI that kind of helps you out uh, at the beginning. Does, yeah. Does it your... not remind you of Sean Berico as kind of like Sean from uh, yeah. Assassin's Creed? I mean, I think part of the appeal of this franchise is how much truth it has in it. Like, um, you know, Big Brother? Yeah, 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 like the whole uh, the 1984 yeah, yeah. vibe and yeah. Oh yeah, 1984, man. That Watch Dogs 2 reminded me so much of 1984, man. It was so this interesting. This even more so. This this should definitely hit those yeah. vibes for you like the most. Yeah, <laughs> it's really. Um, I'm not sure if it's an attack on conservatives since it says it's a right mess and it's like, um, if it's like making, uh the Brexit thing look bad or whatever. Well, it's taking that to the extreme. Um, knowing a bit of when this game started in development and when Brexit started to happen um, was kind of after that fact. So they already had some of these ideals in place. Uh, cool. I think you know the idea they, of what kind they of just took that Brexit angle and like turned it up even more because it kind of fit. Would yeah. Be, I guess. Um, uh, is there going to be like, is, so is Bloom still around? Is Bloom still the main antagonist? Bloom is definitely there. We took some screenshots on our live Reddit thread yeah, about that. Is there like, is CTOS so, going to be like CTOS the main CTOS is zone? definitely there, yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so yeah it's, I'm really It's definitely interested. still Watch Dogs universe, definitely still follows that line. It just seems to be near future, and it's taking that whole 1984 Orwell thing uh, angle like even even further to the extreme of what, I hope it does. how brexit might affect all that in the mix you know? i hope it does a better job than uh i hope it does a better job than watchdogs too uh, yeah oh this that's what it is in what regards i mean i don't 
I wasn't able to take the story and the second Watch Dogs as seriously as the first one. Maybe that's just me, but um, I prefer the whole dark tone since I'm able to. Agreed, foreign thing, yeah. Yeah, so it seems to be like a combination of both, but leaning more towards like gritty. What do you think? Hmm? Um, for me, I think the game will be better than two in a few different ways. Uh, the biggest one is consequences. Um, in this oh, game, yeah. it definitely seems like your actions have consequences. Uh, and that was one of the big uh, fallouts for me story-wise for 2. 2 had a great story. I really loved it. But the gameplay, the actions didn't fit the the story. So I a, wasn't a, a huge fan of 2 story. Between the two. What's that? I preferred 1 story. 1 for the story? Yeah. Or the one tone? Hmm? <laughs> One for the story or the tone? You like the revenge story? You like the darker story? No, not the re not the revenge story. The the tone and I think um, the tone and the um, I thought I thought um, um what's his name again? Um, what's his name again? Uh, Damien was a really good. Oh, Damien? Yeah, yeah. Da Damien was kind of cool. Um, Dushan, uh, not not the best bad guy. Dushan was terrible. Yeah. 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 What was your opinion on the first story and the second story? And... Um, I mean, I like them both for different reasons. I see yeah, them I both agree. as ga different games for different reasons. So yeah. I, I I like. Yeah, I think. I I really like them both. I still want them both in my world. I'm still gonna play them both for different reasons. I don't have to yeah. like one more than the other, per se. I'm glad 3 yeah. is totally different, to be honest. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, I just hope they don't completely ditch the hacking thing. I don't either. The online hacking, I would have to say, is uh, one of my favorite things about Watch Dogs. Hi, wifey. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> is, are they going to like bring back characters like um, T-Bone? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, I would hope so that they bring back some cameos because, you know, it's just fan service, those kind of tie-ins. Some yeah. people love it. Some people hate it. But uh, I think it's important to have in, in, to kind of tie together the narratives of the different games. E I mean, even if they're was... just calling up your characters or something or part of a mission uh, where they give you some advice or hacking code or, you know, they don't have to be full on in the game for me. They just have to be part of the the narrative somehow. No, nah, dude. And that was, was cool with Jody Chan. Jody Chan comes back for like two missions and he's kind of a meme, kind of a giggle, but you see him kind of in his roots as kind of like the uh, sneaky sniper kind of guy. Yeah. Which um, vibe are you getting from Watch Dogs Legion? Are you getting a more darker vibe? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting kind of like that Sun Sequestro kind of Ghost in the Shell kind of vibe from it. Yeah. Uh, oh, they were asking me about uh, drones and online hacking in the chat. Um, just uh, real quick, uh, drones are definitely a huge part of Watch Dogs 3, and that may be one of the reasons why they need they didn't say anything about online hacking yet is maybe they're coming up with some new similar -ish mode that really, you know, highlights and uses the drones. Um, a lot of people wish to like have Watch Dogs 2 just like disable drones during online. I don't like that whole idea. One of the big things about Watch Dogs 2 that makes it different and cool for me than Watch Dogs 1, not better, I'm just saying different and cool, is the fact that there are drones in the game and that you could use them in different ways. And I think they're a very cool addition and one of the things that makes Watch Dogs 2 very different um, than, than Watch Dogs 1. And I'm glad that they are bringing drones back in 3 because it just it makes sense for the world. And that's what's important to me. I would love online hacking to come back. Again, like I said, it's one of my favorite modes. Um, and it, Watch Dogs just really isn't Watch Dogs without online hacking to me. 
so that new version of online hacking or whatever it will be uh, would have to work with that and, and actually highlight that and, and make it good and make it better. Um, there are multiple kinds of drones in this game that we've seen that are really cool. Like the spider bot. Um, there's drones with weapons now. Uh, there's You're big ass cargo drones point. that you can surf on top of and ride. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> So everybody wants more of like Watch Dogs One online hacking. You want more Watch Dogs One online hacking? Go play Watch Agreed. Dogs One. <laughs> um, Adrian, back. Said. Hey, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't like. Uh, I like. Um, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how if this game is gonna have like a if um. This game is so ambitious, dude. It is. It's very like, ambitious. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, or at least on the extent that they're saying it. Every single NPC character is fully animated. Every single one? There's like millions of them. Well, if you think about it, um, they, Unless they're gonna they just have to rehash. break down the different NPCs into different groups. You could probably break down people into like six different groups animation-wise, depending on body type and size. Yeah. Um, so they'll do that kind of... There, there's lots of little tricks that, that they would have to do to pull off something like that, and they figured out a way to do that. That's one of the big things we talked about with the devs um, when we had to see it was just how it's ambitious little... that is. And I wish I could give you more much... exact details how they're pulling that off. but <laughs> How much people worked on this game? I mean, it's primarily Two. based out of Ubisoft Toronto. Um, but it, like any so any Ubisoft title, uh, a lot of their other uh, um, locations help out with different parts and bits and pieces of it. I'm assuming it's been in development for at least ten years. <laughs> like, well, I mean, no, 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 no. I, I would guess somewhere, and I and this is just a guess, an educated guess, not based off of any NDA NDA information that I I know of. Um, oh, that uh, it's probably happened somewhere around the end of Watch Dogs 2, and that's based off of um, the guy who's heading the project. He he switched positions around that time. Um, Watch Dogs 2, to that is... Project. But you three years to do all that? Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm talking about, like, conceptual art. I mean, they did Watch Dogs 2 in less time, so... Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it, yeah. it's a lot. I, I have to give it to him, and that's why we're not even seeing it. If you think about it, it'll be more than three years by the time it comes out. It'll be three and a half, four years almost um, yeah. from when Watch Dogs 2 like, released. So they, I was hoping for a November release, to be honest with you. I, I was too, and uh, I think they were probably as well, but it, obviously this game has a lot to it. So I'm sure they want a little bit extra time to uh, make sure they f can finish everything they need to finish and make sure it's good. So, yeah, they seem really optimistic about this one. Yeah, man. But well, I mean, that's the best way to be. Yeah. I mean, what's go the go general go consensus? Hold on, I'm turning you back up. I can barely hear you, dated rhymes. What's the? No, sorry, dude. I'm general... talking me flat. Um. Yeah, man, it's gonna be a big one. I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be a cool game. Yeah, I wonder what what's the general consensus. Uh, uh, that that's uh, tough. <laughs> that's tough to say <laughs> right now. It's it's crazy I'm right getting, now. I'm getting a real As reddish a vibe from here. The color scheme is pretty red. And uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if Bloom is going to be the main villain or if the British government's going to be the antagonist. Here. Well, if you look at the website, it kind of goes into talk and breaks yeah, down the kind of the factions. website real quick. Cause yeah, I'm man. Uh, it discusses the factions that are kind of like broken down within the game. If so you've kind of got like... I thought I had it up. Why is that still... It'd be like having the blighters and then like the government. So it's like the government and then the gangs. And then Bloom, which are like the private army. Yeah, from what we've seen of it, there's several different factions, like he said. Uh, crime, ar army, crime lords, armies, 
Uh, I don't know if there's anything left of the aristocracy or, you know, government that's there. Uh, hold on, let me Whoa. make sure I have this on stream. Uh, let me go back to my main view here so we can actually see the screen. So, what do we got here? Let's Welcome go. to the resistance. Let's go. Dirty. What was that? That skull. Amazing. Yeah. Wow, it just looks dark. So, you can play as anybody, which is just crazy bonkers, nuts. But what they mean by that is, like they showed in the demo, you can re recruit anybody. Um, but, from what we've seen little bits of and what, what I know, um, is that that's not always easy. You can't just go up to anybody and say, hey, come be part of DeadSec. Because, basically, you're playing as DeadSec in this game. The, the group and that's why it's a group um in fact they showed screens where you can have god i don't even know how many people like at least 10 15 maybe 20 people i'll have to bring up the screenshot um on your team that you could potentially switch to at any time um so you're playing as a group it makes sense to be able to recruit people now to recruit people you may have to do things in the game to make them want to be part of DeadSec. And that's what's kind of cool about this game is that's where that builds into the whole system of consequences, right? Is if they want to be part of DeadSec, then they have to like DeadSec. That, that person, whatever their life is like, everybody has their own kind of virtual life and affiliation with DeadSec. Either they like them or they hate them or somewhere in between. Can I ask so you, you so you just go outside and recruit players. It seemed like um in order in the past games in order to work for DeadSec, you had yeah. Well it's your you choice who you recruit, graduate. right? It obviously makes sense to recruit people that are gonna help your cause more. I'm just saying So you have the, to go out, the, profile people, see what their skills are, things like that, and decide do I need just a bare knuckle brawler? Do I need a robots expert? Do I need a a, seek, a, a spy? Do I need a, you know? There's there, everybody has all kinds of different skills, vocations, and traits, um, and that's kind of what's cool about it. Like, you you can you can recruit anybody, sure, but who does it make sense for you and how you want to play to recruit? And that's that that that's what I found crazy cool about it was that, um, that yeah um, customization another thing team, i wanted to, you know another thing i wanted to point out was um it looks like uh um it looks like that tech going to be reverting to like their mysterious origins like in the first game rather than being comedic in the second game. i don't know i'd like to see more about that for sure yeah um, in the first game they were like super dark and i was like yeah yeah the I council was of really daves and I'd, I'd, yeah, I really hope they here? tie more back into that because I'd, li I'd I really, like to find out more about it. I really hope what they do in here is they show that everything's in like a shared universe. Maybe cameos of Aiden, Marcus. You know, yeah, th that's what's cool about the setup is they can they can do all that, right? Um, yeah. Have you, have you been told what year it's based? Because obviously you can see it's kind of that futuristic kind of like... Uh, Santa I do vibe, know right? a bit more about that, but um, you're not to say, yeah, all, yeah. I, all I can say is it's it's near future. Um, yeah, I can respect that. Fair enough. Then, yeah. not but like 2040, at least 20, maybe 2027. 20, yeah, we will have to see in the narrative. I know it's something that they were uh, playing with. You yeah. know how far, and I think it makes a lot of sense because it gives them more uh, room to tell a story. Because they can do future technologies and things like that that they couldn't yeah. normally if they were just sticking with uh, current current day. I'm and glad. Um, I'm really, really glad how it's futuristic, but it still looks realistic. Like it could, it could happen. It looks really. It's not like everyone's a robot, like Detroit or um, Detroit game. That transhumanism. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. If you don't, well, I'm not a big. I'm not a huge fan of that Detroit game. What is that? What are your thoughts on it being an Epic's game and Ubisoft Store only exclusivity? What do you think about it kind of moving away from Steam? Well, oh, that's not good. That's not good. 
I don't know. There's no reason for it not to be on Steam or on PC at least. I did. Is I there? did not uh, realize that it was. Uh, yeah, man. So it's only Ubi and Epic. So okay. it's not gonna be. It's gonna be on PC, just not on Steam. Yeah, yeah. So you know how Ubisoft kind of. So with um, Rainbow Six, this is one. Oh, of my okay, big... that's fine. I, I'd just buy it through Ubisoft Store anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But one of my biggest yeah, pet working in esports think... is that it's literally because you play and Steam have do, two different builds and two different clients. Uh, people come in with Steam accounts and people come in with Uplay accounts. And when you come in at esports like that, it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it really is. I think the, um, I mean, again, about like this whole game, I think there is a possibility. Remember how like, you remember, I think it's possible that it could get ported in halfway through. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised that it's not going to be on Switch. It's not, it doesn't seem to be um, playable. I don't have too many issues with yeah, right now it's just the consoles, PC, and, and Stadia. Stadia is really cool, though. I think that's uh, yeah, awesome, you got beta, right? awesome America, get. For what is Stadia? What like, I don't even know what that is. I just heard about it. Well, I can tell you a bit about it because I actually what? am a Stadia moderator for the, the Stadia Reddit. Oh, look at me, Mr. Stadia. Oh, look at me, yeah, Mr. What is exactly. Stadia. I don't that in Mr. Mr. Stadia. Oh, Mr. That's Stadia. Me. Ooh, Mr. Stadia fan. <laughs> I am. Stadia. I <laughs> I am. I got into it because I am a fan of it. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I don't have the time to spend on it. Really, <laughs> I don't do have you, the time to do spend. Do you on work it. for Stadia? No, I don't work for Stadia. I Same just help moderate their forums on on Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what is this new console? Is this like a the Google one? It's it's more of a platform, and that's how we'll be talking about games in the future. I mean, technically, that's how we talk about them now on on. PC, like you say, oh, I play on PC, but what platform do you use? And you, right now, we kind of use the platform that our game is on. We, we, some people prefer Steam. Steam because it's been around forever, but now there are other platforms competing for that space. Yeah, and some of them have different things that they can offer, like Stadia, which uh, is primarily a streaming platform. Which Stadia means Stadia is kind of like Shadow, but Shadow for Google. In the best way to describe it, I see. Oh, shadow play, kind of like yeah, like yeah, similar. you know, like um, it's it's similar it, to on live. It's similar to PlayStation Now. It's and it's similar to what X Cloud will be. Yeah. Um, so all all the different big people are doing their own version of of this thing. Uh, Stadia oh. does some things a little bit different, and those things uh, seem pretty neat and cool and useful so far. From their integration with YouTube uh, to uh, how their servers are going to work and what they're doing to combat uh, controller lag and things like that. So those are the big things that are going to really make the difference, I think, in this kind of uh, platform. Yeah, man. and uh, latency as well. So like, how much bandwidth do you actually need to run these games? Yep. And they've already released uh, some details on that uh, just before E3. I know they were uh, just curious, uh, the so. American beta, beta you I'm got a, like Assassin's Creed Origin in Chrome, and that sounded pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I actually, got, 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 to, I actually got to be a part of that beta. and uh, uh, dude, that looks so cool. I wish it, I could it play. It worked very well. I was so impressed by it. Like, I, I thought there would be some major lag and things like that, and it worked oh, so no. well. I, Excuse that, me. Go ahead. Is this some... You know, I'm... Um, this is a bit off topic, but you know the Spider-Man PS4 game? Is it worth getting a console over? It depends on how much you like Spider-Man, I would say. I uh, love I love. There are so game. many really awesome exclusives on PlayStation. They make their their in-house studios make some really great games. Yeah, and yeah. I would say it's worth it to anybody to get a PlayStation for that. Is it um like is it like is the story good? Oh yeah, I love the story, especially if you are into Spider-Man, like you say. Um, Is it how how does this compare to Tasm Two and Homecoming? Um, I mean it's different because they're games, but uh, I mean I think it has a great story and it introduces a lot of the characters from the fandom in in some cool ways. So. Um, right, I'm looking at her. It has some cool twists in it too. I was I was very surprised. So, 
I won't right, go into spoilers, so I can't really say much more about it. <laughs> okay, thank you. I don't want to know. I, I really, I heard it's a really emotionally, like, I heard there's a really sad scene in the end. No spoilers. Yeah, man. I, I, I played it. My flatmate got it um, when we first came to university, and it, it gets deep in place. But I don't know. I, I'm not really invested in the kind of console thing. The thing is now kind of working in mm. sports and live events. I'm always on the go. I can't really have a gaming PC with me when I'm on tour. You know what I mean? I've kind of slimmed down in the last year what I play to a point where I'm just playing Hearthstone now, like pretty much all the time. Do you, um, you, time you travel? Legion, man? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to seriously consider it. Uh, Legion you comes travel? out just as I go into summer next year. So I'll have to see what I'm Do doing. Do you travel? Wise. You're yeah, in college? I mean, yeah, yeah, man. I'm in university. So I'm in university. Britain? Like, yeah, yeah. Doing your what? So I, I'm 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 at a weird university. So I'm at a university that instead of teaching you a, a like a pre, like an educational skill, like being a doctor or a lawyer or like a teacher or something, I learn how to do lighting, sound, and um, projection mapping for venues and gigs, and like theatre, and that's kind so of they put what you to I work. Do. Pretty much the best <laughs> way to describe. No, the best way to describe my university is I'm paying nine and a half grand each year to work in a venue. Yep. Well, I meet some cool people along the way. But you get so the I'm experience and basically on the job training that you can, you know, list oh, yeah, in a resume definitely. and stuff like that. So. How about you? Um, got, where did like... you go to Epic Stream, man? Um, what's what's your, that? What's that? Where did you go to? Um, what's your name? Or... Oh, I'm Epic Stream, man, yeah. Epic Stream, man. Where did you go to? Or... Where did I go to school? Yeah. Um, I actually don't have a college degree. I, I have no, I some college, play. but I never finish. I mean, you don't really need it. But, I mean, I kind of just wanted to do something cool for a couple of years before I went into the industry. So you, I knew If you I want to know my vocation, I I'm a, I do analytic reporting with the databases and stuff, basically. <laughs> He's doing the jet charts. Yeah. Um, they tried to teach all the dancers how to do jet charts, and it was hilarious fun stuff honestly it's funny as hell all right let me read what this collector's edition I'm about really quick because i have not really got to dig into it yet so you get uh some cool Dead masks color. uh vip status what is that about for urban jungle pack an urban <laughs> jungle pack uh steel book a set of stickers a poster. Okay, you know what just sold me for it? Three day early access to the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I pay that kind of money for it. Um, I like I like the cool uh, the little bobblehead mask thing. That, I mean, with yeah, man, that looks that's cool. cool. That's a good kind of reference at the moment for kind of like building the design up. You get four unique heroes. Uh, Exclusive mass and mission, uh, dead yeah, sec car fun. that looks pretty cool, and whatever this ultimate pack is. What is VIP status? That really concerns me. I don't know. I'm lo I'm looking at the stickers, and the stickers look pretty cool. Like if they are stickers, if they're patches, I'm gonna buy them off my neighbor. Cause he'll probably buy like the uh, collector's edition. Let me go. Oh no, they are stickers. Here. Yeah, so man. Look at it. Although I've got some Watchdog stickers on my tour case that he gave me that are pretty cool. Cool. All right. I like that. Yeah, I need to find out more about what is this VIP status and why do you only get four weeks of it and why do I you mean, need it? You're, you're the guy who's got the friends at Ubisoft. Just drop <laughs> some DMs. Oh, yeah, I will find out. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I just I really want to know now. <laughs> uh, and they don't really explain it much here. That I could see. Pre order. Mm. But I'm glad people are so excited. Like, you may not know all the details about this yet, yet they're still pre ordering everything. Like, it's not going to be accessible. Um, I mean, I can't afford to pre order it, but I would if I could. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, working together. Take down London. See, I like that whole the whole idea of like how you're 
basically trying to unfuck London, as they put it. <laughs> yeah. And because of Brexit and everything that's happened with the government going down and having to be put under military control, um, you're basically trying to recruit people into dead sex so you can uh, stop Bloom and C2S and whatever kind of messed up control they're trying to have over the city. Yeah, man. And give it back to the people. It, it kind of reminds me of a Just Cause in that way, if you ever played the Just Cause games. I mean, I played a bit of them, but I didn't really play campaign. I got bored. Resist. All right, so what What other... We got Collector's Edition. What, what comes with the Ultimate Edition? Basically, it looks like you get all that other stuff without the bobbleheads and stickers. Yeah, man. It just looks like a digital version of the yeah. Yeah, Edition. You still get well, to like... play three days early, so that's cool. Uh, so... With the gold edition is just missing three days oh the, it's got the three days early sure urban jungle yeah character yeah. masks and stuff like that and the four weeks vip and then the standard edition you just get the game so they got rid of the deluxe edition basically from the, like they had in the last one they go straight to gold and then they add an ultimate edition <laughs> and then a collector's edition mm. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, let's see. There was some other video. Oh, wait. You know, I did want to look at... Somebody gave me a link to the store. There's already some Watch Dogs Legion stuff in the store. Let's see what we got. So there's a cool statue. Yeah. The, cool. the collector's edition. Or the, uh, the gold edition. I, I like the new the hat because red is my favorite color, and red and black go so good together. I, I hate def- you, American. Like you got that sale just before E3 of all the Watch Dogs Two stuff. Yeah, and we, we didn't did. get okay, and that killed me off. <laughs> it was a good sale, but I wonder if they'll have any uh, different editions for the different. That that, that new like Legion Dead Sex scarf is pretty good. I like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the hoodie's kind of cool. Is it a zipper? I don't know. I don't know. like hoodies. Though. I prefer zippers. Yeah, yeah. I don't see a zipper. No, man. Feels bad. I know. I'd get it if it had a zipper. Oh. Definitely going to get me a hat. I know that. I don't know about the shirts or the scarf. Probably collector's edition. I don't know about this statue. Let's see. Oh, it comes with different masks and stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool then. Yeah, man. She got the pig, the uh, crown. Yeah, they got any details on it? Let's see. Win- Winston, King of Hearts. So you, you get those two heads. That's what they call these guys. Winston and King of Hearts mask. Yeah. I don't know. I really want to deal with the digital kind of like LEDs across the back of the head. But at the same time, I just want to go really easy on myself and do the King of Hearts. King of Hearts would be would not be too bad, it looks like. No, nah, man. So it looks cool. It looks cool, yeah. but like, I don't know. I mean, you can always... Uh... Once you get that down, you can always uh, decide if you yeah, want to do another one and, and go yeah, back, you know? Feel that. I might do that first, build the King of Hearts, and then build up to um, kind of the digital LED kind of one. Yep. The pig mask would be difficult to do, I would think. I don't think so. It'd literally just be a rubber mask, and then you'd just, like, pop a monocle on it and a uh, brandishing fake cigarette. Hey, do you think you could It'd be it? really easy. Yeah, I could probably... That'd probably be a lot easier than the King of Hearts. Yeah, that digital... The digital mask one looks pretty cool. Yeah, man. I want to do that. I'm just trying to price it up at the moment. It's like $40, and I've got to see if I can get anything cheaper. Speak to my friends down at the market at Shenzhen, see if I can get anything cheaper from them. 
Elite Pass Voucher grants access to exclusive in-game challenges and rewards. Okay, what is that about? Mm hmm. Do any of these operatives look familiar silhouette-wise? No, I don't think they're probably cameos. Unless one of you them looks like Jackson or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the far right one reminds me about the guy from Witcher. Uh, the drop second left from the outside reminds me of... Um, what's his name? Um, one of the assassins, can't his name. Um, French man. Uh, Arno. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know about the other two. Yeah, I still want to know what this VIP status is. Yeah, go ahead. Go and slip some DMs. I may have to do that. I was hoping it would be on here somewhere. Compare media. What is this? Ooh. All right. I'll bite. Turn 101. Is Morning class, these are diapers. You're gonna to wanna to put those on because when I tell you about this game, you are gonna shit your pants. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is Watch Dogs Legion. London has fallen and it's up to you to take it back. There are nearly nine million characters out there and every single one of them is playable. Shit your pants. Mm -hmm. That's right. What about non-playable characters? NPCs. Not worried about those. Okay, this game we're going to focus on. A. P. C. All playable characters. A. P. C. Every C can be P. <laughs> so say I wanted to recruit a florist to choke a corrupt police officer with his own entrails. Could I do that? <laughs> Sorry, are you, uh, are you in the right class? Yeah, I'm Bart. I'm a big Watch Dogs fan. I just didn't know that you could play all the characters. Oh, you, you can't, because you can be like a bartender, a bus driver, a hooligan. If you like can walk up to them, you can become them. Uh, I'm sorry, do you have a video game instructor credential? I, uh, I don't. Uh, no, I, I, no, you don't. All right, now, I asked yeah. some of you to complete missions last night. Let's hear uh, the green eSport. Now you can talk. Okay, I know you're so name's excited. Aiden. <laughs> All right, let's hear about your mission. Well, I had to take out this enemy general who was like holed up in this heavily like fortified compound. And so I recruited this awesome badass hacker named Victoria to take them out. And I also had like a spider bot as a All right, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep because I've got to be up um, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm going to dip. This has been, ah, this has been amazing. I'm going to watch back for this again tomorrow morning. All right, man. Yeah, yeah I, I, I got to go through all this stuff still in the chat. And we're updating our Reddit page, and there's some new stuff coming to the server, and yeah. It's gonna be good, boy. Uh, see you in a bit, I wish they paid me for all this. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you say that, and then they flew you out to uh, wherever it was to go and play it. Yes, early. we do get to do cool things. That is, that is definitely true. You know. Oh yeah, I don't. We, I don't see it as a. I, I'm very happy to to do this kind of stuff. Trust me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. No. But what was that? Was you, wasn't you a star player previously? Yeah, I was a star player for Watch Dogs 2 in 2016 when that came. See, out. man, you you went out and you flew about for that, man. Like, you know, can't complain. Oh, I'm not. It was more of a joke. I'm not really complaining or anything like that. It was more yeah. of a joke, like. Wow, I really spend all my uh, a lot of my free time doing this stuff. And the reason why I do is because I'm passionate about it. It's not because Ubisoft gives me stuff back. That's just kind of a bonus, you know. Yeah, man, I feel and that. I very much appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna dip this. No. All right, man. Have a good night. All right, I think I'm gonna get off the Discord myself too. Um, let me get back to our chat. My chat client keeps screwing up, so I, I know I've missed some chat here. 
But let me uh, close out uh, here. But yeah, everybody, on the stream, if you're still here and watching, I'm going to reset my chat so I can hopefully hear you guys. We're going to look at a few more Watch Dogs videos and cool stuff like that and uh, see what it's all about. And uh, feel free to jump in. If I can't hear you through my voice chat because it keeps resetting on me, I will uh, endeavor to make sure I read your sh your chat and respond to it, even if we have to uh, pause things and whatnot. Because I'm very much interested in your guys' feedback. That's one of the reasons why I'm stre live streaming this. Is I really wanted to get people's impressions about this game and uh, you know what what they think about it. Um, I know my voice isn't the only voice about it, and uh, what what you're excited about, what what you're scared about, everything. So let me know in uh, the comments down below, as it were. Um, all right, let's get back to this video. Drone and dropped a payload from above. It's awesome. Hold on a second. So you're, you're telling me that you were able to control not only a drone, but spider bots as well at the same time? Really? Well, the spider bots uh, are AI, so they just kind of control yeah, themselves. The spider bots are AI, so they just kind of control themselves. Yeah, you beat the bad guy. Wee. You're cocky. Everyone knows it. See me after class. All right, Barb, let's get a little maturity back. In Don't get penis Sure, okay. Well... I recruited this sharp-dressed college professor for an infiltration mission who just happened to be a former MI6 agent, and I'll tell you what, it was a godforsaken bloodbath. I mean, I opened up these fucking fascists like, like sardines. Good lord. Yeah, I took out a bunch of armed guards, and then I went hand-to-hand -hand with a Glock 19, and I shattered this fella's clavicle, and I broke his arm, and then I turned to his friend, and I unloaded a full clip into his pelvis. They were both like ground beef by the end of it. Dang. Uh, Barb, I gotta tell you, that... I got my blood pumping. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really? 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 Oh, that's cool. So you do buses. Todd, there's a ton of incredible cars in this game. There's fast cars. You've got souped-up smart cars that have autopilot mode. Why the hell are you getting a bus for a getaway mission? I didn't know how many people needed to get away. I tried to move it with a grenade launcher, but I blew it up accidentally. <laughs> Something I totally did. Yeah, well, we can see what you did, Todd. And, uh, well, she is gone forever. Doesn't she just respawn in the load screen? Anyone is playable. But that also means they are all dieable. Dieable? As in permadeath. <laughs> As in she is gone. As in you killed her. But Ethel had a family. But Ethel had a family. She had a family. But she doesn't anymore because she is dead because of you. And that is now for you to deal with for the rest of your life. Okay, everybody, that's class. That's all for today. Next week is a, a group lesson. We're going to do co-op gameplay. Co-op gameplay. Any questions about that? Co-op gameplay. Go Maybe. Yeah. You might. I like it. Okay, guys, great session. For extra credit, I want you to watch the gameplay walkthrough. All right, I want to watch the gameplay walkthrough. Let's let's watch this. I want to watch it. London, greatest city in the world. Well, it used to be. Now it's a right mess. Government's fucked off. Extremists are grabbing power. Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. The war dogs are out, and freedom's a bloody joke. But this ain't their London. This is our London. And there's a new power growing. 
It's all of us, together. We're building a resistance, one recruit at a time. What's my favorite operative up to this evening? And no, I never say that to the others. Scout and talent, Dagley. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yeah? I have no eyes, and if I did, I wouldn't peel them. Bloody drones are everywhere, kicking our fucking teeth in lately. Then I recommend you recruit someone who can deal with drones. Brilliant. Never would have thought of that. You're clear. Sod off. Right. Easy. I'm complying. Hmm. Impressive skill set. Sure, but we need a drone expert, Raj, not a shit kicker. File that one away for later. Alrighty then. Sorry, have I been loudly and shouting some nonsense? It's a total disgrace. Mercenaries patrolling the streets. You street. get the fuck over here. Me? I ain't done nothing. Come on, you shifty prick. Hurry up. Well now. Jimmy Shaw. No formal engineering training, but he has several mischief oh. charges for hijacking Albion drones. Hold still. Fuck you, man. You got no right. Fucking hell, we find our drone expert and he's about to get himself nicked. A dead set, get out of here! Evening, isn't it? Ah, uh, I used to feed the birds here. Now they're all bloody machines. Get used to it. In the long march of progress, everything dies eventually. Eventually, even you, Bagley, I'm sure. Now there's my Helen. Speaking of death, you'll never guess what just happened to Ian. Oh, for God's sake, Bagley, a little respect. Then let's finish what he started. He was working on a new recruit, a drone expert. That's promising. What do we know about him? Albion scanned Jimmy just before Ian was killed. I should be able to predict his next move from that data. Unfortunately, his records are locked up tighter than your compression stockings. Are they now? Albion's even taken over Scotland Yard. Complicates matters. And there's my way in. Hello, darling. to go. They'll be on to me. that Jimmy's gone to Camden Market. Let's get someone over there, Bagley. Chop, chop. Ready for 
for some action, Naomi. Always. But this recruit better be worth all the trouble. According to the Scotland Yard records, Jimmy's sister was killed by Clan Kelly. We believe he's seeking his revenge inside Camden Market. Camden Black Market, you mean? Yes, the Kellys are rumoured to run all sorts of illicit goods out of the old stables. Some with fingers and toes. If he's gone in there alone, he's in big trouble. The Kellys have this place on full lockdown. Hmm, I have an idea. It's a meme. This better be a joke or I'm snapping. <laughs> shanks stables it's human trafficking found Jimmy and here we thought he might be in some sort of trouble so um how are you gonna get him out of there lots of hugs and kisses Sharper than you look. Jesus Christ! Come on, beat these dead sex pricks! We showed those fucks, didn't we? We almost died out there tonight. Look, thanks for helping me, but I can handle myself. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think. And that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Wait. What happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Fuck it. Welcome to DeadSec, James. Yeah. Okay, so... Where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? You don't need to go anywhere. Look around you. Everyone has a reason to fight, and DeadSec is open to anyone. Anyone? Welcome to the Resistance.
Watch Dogs Legion. Available March 6, 2020. Check out the Watch Dogs Legion 101 trailer. We're back. That was cool, man. Let's see what else they got. Uh, escape. Premiere, isn't that what we just watched? No, this is a three minute one. Had a good run there for a while. Now it's all right. Bombings. And people thrown in cages like animals. I know you can forget the killer robots everywhere. So yeah, that's all gone a bit shit. It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. See her? Let's kick those bastards out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. That fella over there, proper belly. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking at funny. This had better be fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the lot. She's not old, she's experienced. Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them, build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. Watchdogs Legion. Available March 6, 2020. Check out the Watchdogs Legion 101 trailer. Cool, very cool. Yeah, I'm really digging this, man. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. We saw the gameplay rock through, we saw that. Collectors Audition. That looks cute. Look at them. Different outfits, too. I didn't think about outfits. Got the outfits. We got the different masks. So it looks like there's a lot of opportunity for customization. That is for sure. And the being able to fly on top of drones, that's just freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, world premiere. Okay, so we saw all of these videos. Uh, that's just the store. Okay. Uh, collector's pack. Get the game. Exclusive steelbook. Double sided. Propaganda. Okay. Dig it, dig it. Is anyone customize your recruits? Collector's edition. What is this? 
Mm-mm. Play three days early, physical content. Uh, so you get replica of the mask, steel book stickers, digital season pass, seven day early access to four up and coming iconic heroes in the game. Abilities, immersive story. Yeah, what is this about? Uh, so they get immersive story missions, not in our name, available through direct at launch. Face a group of imposters using dead sex identif identity in London and unlock familiar mass rewards for your heroes. The dead sex car skin ultimate pack. The urban jungle pack includes three new characters Linux, Leopard, and Viper, as well as the animal-inspired masks and outfits. Four-week VIP status so that you and your friends can earn experience and in in-game currency faster. Oh, that's what that's about. Okay. Experience and... So it's a, it's a booster pack. Great. Okay. Uh, London Dissonance Pack. Unlock three new masks to lead your resistance with style and a sapphire guard mask and the cardboard cyborg mask and the distortion mask. Sounds cool. Dead sec coronet mask. Uh, get instant access to the masking game to terrify your enemies. Uh, cool. Hack, infiltrate, fight, take down future London, stop its downfall. Wow, there's so much awesome info in here, man. Recruit and play as anyone in the city. Everyone you see has a unique backstory and personal personality and skill sets. Hacked armed drones, deploy spider bots, take down enemies using augmented reality cloak, uh, explore a massive urban open world uh, featured London's many iconic landmarks and, and activities take your recruits online and team up with friends as you compete mission or complete missions and challenging end game content so it sounds like full co-op uh, the ultimate edition early access season pass and the VIP thing okay uh yeah that's that's pretty awesome pretty awesome this is the live show we don't really need that open anymore actually well let's let's see if they put up any other videos really quick so seven minutes of gameplay Play as anyone explained. We'll check that out in a minute. I had another video over here. That's just the pre order information. Uh, what else we got? Uh, what's this about? This is Engadget. Let's look at Engadget's first look. And this one goes to Post Breaks in London. We just gave it a try. All right, hold on. Let me back that up. Right. Watchdog Legion is the latest in the open world hacker franchise, and this one goes to post breaks at London. We just gave it a try. This is a dystopian, grim, deeper vendetta style post breaks at London, where there are autonomous cars and drones and private security companies that have really taken over from the government and a burgeoning underground resistance which you're part of as well. The really interesting thing about this game is that you can recruit anyone from around the city to become part of your movement. There's no main protagonist. You can have 20 people in your team and switch between them as much as you want. That means you can recruit the old lady from the pub, you can recruit the office workers as well. Everyone has their own anxieties 
problems and family members and other connections in the world which you can be a part of and you can leverage in order to bring them onto your team. So the characters are generated on demand. You walk around the corner, you see the, the guy sweeping the street or whatever with his broom and his little city worker uniform. But then when you profile him, uh, those things become consistent and coherent. Now he's a guy who's a city worker. And then, oh, now we know what his income is, so we know what part of town he probably lives in. And there's a big relational database called Census that sort of uh, on demand unpacks who that character is and makes them into a real persistent NPC, gives them a voice, gives them a personality, gives them animation. And so when you, when you pay attention to that character and invest in them, they become more and more robust until they're kind of locked in. You could end up making a squad of all elderly women or office workers or punks if that's what you want to do. There's no central protagonist that you have to follow all the way through and you can take any of them through any of the five main storylines. The surveillance state and the private military corporations and AI and all this stuff, crime families um, and, and the characters that you recruit, they become the characters in your scenes, in your story and when you see cinematics with them, they're fully rendered cinematics just like, just like every other scene that you would see and it's, it's really the story you know, of a bunch of characters coming together so you're you're going to be jumping in and out of different characters as you play the game and they all evolve over time as you play them. The, the core um, player investment in the characters is about the player's own investment and that's how they experience their characters in the game. In some ways this builds on older watchdog games where you could hack anybody's device and see what their history was. This takes it really a step further where you can follow them to work, you can follow them to the pub, you can follow them back to their apartment. Um, you can really see how their lives play out in the world as opposed to just on the screen. Uh, which is a major leap forward for the story. The challenge with a game like this is that without that central protagonist, it'll be really interesting to see how the story carries through uh, when you have this unlimited choice. Different bio lines in people's histories uh, get assigned to different gameplay values uh, kind of dynamically under the hood through our relational database. So someone who's a uh, you know, an Olympic target pistol shooter who got a silver medal uh, eight years ago uh, might have a bonus with pistols, but someone who's a former police officer might have the same, you know, gameplay benefit, some kind of bonus with pistols, but there's many, many trillions of possible combinations. One of the problems in the earlier Watch Dogs games was that the characters could be generic. You would see the same descriptions popping up over and over again when you hacked them. Um, here, it would be interesting to see how the final game ends up getting around that. What will be really interesting to see is how the characters can be unique and make you want to bring them onto your team. A good thing to know is that you can have up to 20 people in your team at any time. So that's how big your team can be. Of course, they live their lives, they can die as well. You might, you might fire someone and bring someone else into your team. And then your simulation can have, you know, many, many, many hundreds of different people running around in it uh, persistently at a time. Oh, you are fucking done now. Otherwise, it handles and feels much like other open-world games like GTA. You sneak, you shoot, you drive. Um, but the post-Brexit dystopian London, coupled with the mixed protagonists, are really uh, what sets this game apart so far. We started working on the game, you know, four years ago, you know, before the Brexit vote even happened. And, uh, you know, we were really attracted to London. We were attracted to her people. We wanted to look at these kinds of themes. So for us, it was more just recognizing, okay, you know, Brexit is a thing that the people voted for and that it's, it's going to happen. And so that has to become part of our backstory and our, and our, and our universe. It's important to understand that we're not trying to say uh, that, that Brexit is the cause of the problems in the world. We're trying to say the causes of Brexit. You know, the, the increasing wealth gap, the, the accelerating rise of technology, massive corporations taking if, if we're extrapolating these things to their, to their worst, then these are the causes of the problems in our game world. Watch Dogs Legion comes out March 6th the next year, and we at Engadget will be at E3 all week, so keep following, like, and subscribe. So I'm going to take this and go post it up to our live Reddit thread here. Uh, I think, you know, it'll probably...
There you go. Some really good dev details in this vid. Yeah, it does give the title and everything. What? Do they? These guys got anything else? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Watch dogs. No. Nope. Uh, all right, let's check this video out, shall we? Uh, what else? You play. I do want to hear about the subscription thing. Let's do a search. Saw the 11 minute walkthrough. Uh, plays anyone explain we're looking at now. We saw the two minute eight second one we saw the five minute thing I think that might be all that there is for right now so let's take a look at this. Watch Dogs Legion is set in a sort of uh, near future version of London where things have gone terribly terribly wrong all is about as bad as it could possibly go your mission is to build a popular resistance in order to fight back against the sort of emergence of this authoritarian regime Do that by recruiting whoever you want from the open world and uh, making them the characters in your resistance and the, the heroes of your gameplay and the stars of your story. Play as anyone basically means that any character that you find on the street, in the pub, just anywhere in your game, even characters in a mission, can be potential recruits into your DedSec team. You can profile them, you can learn about them, you can help them with their problems, and then they'll eventually join your team and be part of your group of DedSec members. You know, in the previous two games, you could still profile people and see these facts about their lives, and we've sort of just taken that to the logical conclusion of, okay, these aren't little bits of random trivia, but this is actually who they are in terms of being fully simulated people in our world, how that affects gameplay, and the fact that you can bring them onto your team. And so your dead sec is the people you've recruited. And my game's not gonna be the same as your game, it's not gonna be the same as anyone else's game. Everyone's gonna have a different team. Where the new dead sec in London emerges from is kind of part of the, the mystery of the, of the entire game. There isn't one star dude in the box who you get your story and your cutscenes from. It's literally the people that you recruit from the world are the stars of your story and the heroes of your gameplay. With different backstories on your characters, with different relationships, like it truly is about who you've chosen to pull onto your team. One of the main motivations of developing Play As Anyone and working on, on all of the technology that would support it was to be able to tell a cohesive and coherent story no matter who you would recruit from the open world. So the goal was if I can recruit a granny off of the street and, and you know take her into the big climactic cutscene against the dude in the powered armor, or I can take the, you know, the former Royal Marine into the same cutscene. That cutscene needs to be different. It needs to have a different performance, different character, different voice acting, different animation, uh, no matter which character you take into it. You know, Watch Dogs Legion is still a very traditionally story-based game. We haven't compromised that narrative experience in order to have plays anyone. We've actually done a ton of work to make sure that, you know, these people who you recruit to your team they're all voice acted, they're all animated, they have the facial animation, they have all the stuff you would expect from a AAA game. Wait, what happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Every character in our game comes with them a unique sort of gameplay benefit that we call a trait. So some people are good at punching and melee, and some people are good at guns, and some people are good at stealth, or they're good at hacking. Maybe what you really need is the fact that your operatives keep getting arrested because you're not great at combat, and maybe you need to like recruit a lawyer, or you recruit a former lawyer, or you recruit some criminal that's been in jail a bunch of times, that have specific traits that help people get out of jail. So it's sort of like an encouragement to go and explore the world. And that's also based on their fully simulated life. So if you find someone who happens to be a underground bare knuckle boxer character, then they're going to have a good melee trait. Or if you 
find someone who's an ex-spy, they might be really good with uh, silenced pistols. Everyone sort of has a kind of opinion about DedSec, whether they support it or they oppose it, and that will determine how much work you need to do in order to get them on your side. So once you start helping them with their problems, they'll start becoming more amenable towards DedSec in general until they're ready to be recruited. The more someone dislikes DedSec, the more work you've got to do to get them onto your team. So you might have to do two or three different favors for them. And these favors could be very serious. They could be getting a loved one out of jail or uh, clearing a debt that they've got with one of the crime families, and they could also be really lighthearted. They could be uh, beating them at darts. You're taking a character that already sort of has this internal life. They have a schedule, they have friends and families, they have problems, um, they have memories, they remember what you've done. You're taking that character and then you're putting them on your team. And then all those sort of things that that makes up that person is now part of your team, their personality, their voice, the way they act, the way they move. Once people come onto your team, you continue to customize them. So we've got a full progression path for each character. You level up, you earn XP, you install perks that change your gameplay ability. So like you're really customizing your team. The characters remember, and they also remember when you do things to people that they know. I'm fighting a bunch of enemies, and maybe I kill five you know, enemy soldiers. Oh, I just killed five enemy soldiers. Those five enemy soldiers had friends and families. They'll remember that. They like DedSec a lot less. So like there's like sort of this um, cascading effect as you do actions and people remember them, and they remember the things that you do about other people. Permadeath is a really important part of Watch Dogs Legion, and we really wanted this to feel like a, you know, a game about serious issues with serious consequences. And further, when you're building a team, we really want you to feel attached to those characters, and part of that is knowing that there are real stakes with that. We actually chose London before the, you know, the current political issues that are happening in the United Kingdom with, with Brexit and all of that, and that just kind of ended up, you know, adding this layer to our backstory and our universe and, and allowing us to go a little bit further with our what if. And so London provides really the perfect context for a, for a Watch Dogs game. And that inspired us to think about how does the intelligence apparatus and how does sort of state surveillance take shape in that world. And so we're able to really make our world feel grounded and credible because we're starting from a place that's extremely familiar and based on reality, and then going someplace that's sort of fantastical uh, without completely detaching and becoming something that's sort of just science fiction. I prefer interesting and challenging work, and I find that this is probably the most interesting and the most challenging work that I've done. So one of the things I really love is not just helping to develop the systems, but also trying to figure out, all right, what are we going to fill those systems with, right? It's not just interesting to say, all right, someone's job affects what they do in the world. It's also interesting to say, okay, jobs we have are con artists and construction workers and archaeologists. It's like, all right, so what kind of things can they do in the world? Like, start thinking about um, not just a cool system that you're making, but what are you populating that system with? And then start exploring what are the interesting connections that show up between those two. It's fucking wild that we are looking like we're going to be able to land the most ambitious parts of this thing. The concept that literally anybody you see on the street feel like they belong in that environment, yet still become a hero who has the skills and appears in the cinematics and has her unique personality stay with them when they become playable, that's bananas. The entire vision of the game is about me moving away and saying, no, it belongs to you, it belongs to the player, I'm not the hero, you're the hero. That's what I want people to take from this game and that's why we made this game. Watch Dogs Legion, available March 6, 2020. All right, man, that was a crazy ass video too. A lot of awesome details there. I want to put that up on. Where did my Reddit Live go? Let's see. More details on play as anyone. All right. And what is.
DLCs. That's classic. Rainbow Six. Prince of Persia Classic. Oh, okay. Splinter Cell. Raven. Child of Light. New releases too. Oh man. Watch out, Legion's gonna be on there? Okay then, that might be a little bit of a hit. Fifteen bucks in a month. Starting in September, wow. Oh. Alright Post that up on the Reddit lives. Um, let's see. You play plus info for ya. Which watch dogs legions legion will. I wonder how that'll work. So it said you get all the DLCs and everything, but I don't know if you get those like bonuses and things like that for buying it. Okay. Uh, and I just finally want to link the. Is anyone expanded? I want to link that. That and that. Finish up there. So, Morning we'll play, class. We'll play this These are diapers. You're going to want to put those on because when I tell you about this game, you are going to shit your pants. This is Watch Dogs Legion. London has fallen, and it's up to you to take it back. There are nearly 9 million characters out there, and every single one of them is playable. Nine million Shit your pants. Oh. Shit your pants. That's right. What about non oh, playable character? NPCs. Pause, Not one. worried about those. Okay, this game we're going to focus on APC. Play All playable characters where every C can be peed. So say I wanted to recruit a florist to choke a corrupt police officer with his own entrails. Could I do that? Sorry, are you, uh, are you in the right class? Yeah, I'm Barb. I'm a big Watch Dogs fan. I just didn't know that you could play all the characters oh, in you it. can, because you can be like a bartender, a bus driver, a hooligan. If you like can walk up to them, you can become them. Uh, I'm sorry, do you have a video game instructor credential? I, I, I don't. Uh, no, I, I, no, you don't. All right, now, I asked some of you to complete missions last night. Let's hear about those. Aiden, now you can talk. OK. I know, you're so excited. All right, let's hear about your mission. I, like oh, I had to take out this enemy general who was like holed up in this heavily like fortified compound. And so I recruited this awesome badass hacker named Victoria to take them out. And I also had like a spider bot as backup. And then we took over one of the Sentinel drones. And then I just rode out on a drone and dropped a payload from above. It was awesome. Hold on a second. So you're you're telling me that you were able to control not only a drone but spider bots as well at the same time? Really? That's right. Well, baby. the spider bots uh, are AI, so they just kind of control no, themselves. No, the spider bots are AI, so they just kind of control themselves. Yeah, you beat the bad guy. Wee! You're cocky. Everyone knows it. See me after class. Cocky. All right, Barb. Let's get a little maturity back in the room. Let's hear about your mission. Sure. Okay. Well, I recruited this sharp-dressed college professor for an infiltration mission who just happened to be a former MI6 agent. And I'll tell you what, it was a godforsaken bloodbath. I mean, I opened up these fucking fascists like, like sardines, you know? Yeah, I took out a bunch of armed guards, and then I went hand-to-hand -hand with a Glock 19. And I shattered this fella's clavicle, and I broke his arm, and then I turned to his friend, and I unloaded a full clip into his pelvis. They were both like ground beef by the end of it. Uh, Barb, I gotta tell you, that... I got my blood pumping. Oh, really? <laughs> really. 
Really? Really. Really. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, Todd, mm. you're next. Okay, so uh, I recruited this old chick named Ethel, and I stole this big ass red bus to do this getaway mission. But then I was getting chased and I got stuck in an alley. Todd, there's a ton of incredible cars in this game. There's fast cars, you've got souped up smart cars that have autopilot mode. Why the hell are you getting a bus for a getaway mission? I didn't know how many people needed to get away. I tried to move it with a grenade launcher, but I blew it up accidentally. And I blew up Ethel, too. Yeah, well, we can see what you did, Todd. And, uh, well, she is gone forever. Doesn't she just respawn in the load screen? Anyone is playable. But that also means they are all dieable. As in permadeath. As in she is gone. Let me see if I As in you see. killed her. Family. Yeah, she had a family, but she doesn't anymore because she is dead because of you. And that is now for you to deal with for the rest of your life. Okay, everybody, that's class. That's all for today. Next week is a, a group lesson. We're gonna do co-op gameplay. Co-op gameplay, any questions about that? Am I going to jail? Maybe. You might. OK, guys, great session. For extra credit, I want you to watch the gameplay walkthrough. Yeah. All right, where's my checker? All right. Oh, nope. That's not what I want. Yeah, we can close that, actually. Close that. Is that we saw all that I think that's all the videos we're gonna check out today uh, I'll close that uh, I'll go over here pop back on our thumbnail to end the show go big or go home uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all again for stopping by. Definitely check us out on discord.gg slash watchdogs where you can chat with uh, the community and uh, a lot of our, our awesome moderators, some of which who are at E3 right now and getting to hopefully play this game or get their hands on some of these games that you saw here in the stream earlier today. Uh, so we're hoping to get some more info information back from them as well. Um, and that is all happening here live in the next few days. So definitely come and check that out. Check us out on Reddit. Um, we're watch underscore dogs on Reddit. Um, we're just working on revamping everything. So there's gonna be a cool new look very soon. Hopefully tonight, uh, one of one of our awesome fan artists and moderators, uh, Van Aid, has been working really hard on that. Check her out. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what is. Uh, I'm super excited about the game. There's so much more info I want to find out. Still got a lot of time before it comes out, so we'll see what else comes out about it. Maybe even some more stuff this week. Um, hope to keep you all up to date. I'll probably be doing another stream uh, playing some Watch Dogs or some other game, but probably talking about Watch Dogs Legion a lot in, until March 6th of 2020. So, you all are awesome. Thank you again. Hack the planets, and uh, we'll see you all later. Peace out.